Welcome to Don Pablo Lorenzo Memorial High School. To ensure that our school is ready to serve various communities, the administration, the faculty, and staff are all set to embrace the new normal to address the academic needs of our learners. It is expected. Don Pablo Lorenzo Memorial High School, ready to serve you. Aside from offering basic educational needs, the school's main priority is to make sure that everyone is safe inside the school premises. For safety precautions, please consider the following practices in coming in and going out of the school campus. First, you are advised to observe proper and physical and social distancing as you enter the school gate. Next, your temperature will be checked through a thermal scan and alcohol will be spread on your hands. Don't forget to step on the foot bath for disinfecting purposes. Then, you will be directed to proceed to the hand washing area for additional safety measures. You are encouraged to dry your hands using your own personal towel. However, if your temperature is registered as high, you will be redirected to the school's isolation area. I have some few questions for you. Have you traveled outside Zamboanga? Do you have any signs of colds? Cough? Diarrhea? Headache? Okay, since you don't have signs of COVID, you may take a rest for a while. After five minutes, your temperature will be checked again. You may proceed to the hand washing area right away if your temperature is already normal. As soon as you are done with a series of disinfecting processes, you are now ready to proceed to the assigned classroom of your child or ward. Do not forget to observe physical or social distancing while going to the assigned classroom. For parents and guardians of grade 10 students, you are directed to proceed to curriculum buildings A and B. For grade 9, please go directly to curriculum buildings C and D. For grade 8, you are requested to proceed to curriculum buildings E, F, and G. While grade 7 are expected to proceed to curriculum buildings H, I, and J. On the other hand, STEM classes from grades 7 to 10 are located at Science Building. Open High School program students will make use of the curriculum building E, while learners with disabilities will make use of the Pagcor building. done at the respective classrooms of our learners. The first two set of capslet, which are composed of four subjects, will be released every Wednesday morning and this will be returned every Friday in the afternoon. During the retrieval of capslets, another two sets of capslets will already be released to complete the eighth subject. Eventually, the parents or guardians are expected to return the other two sets of capslets. At the same time, they will receive the next two sets of capslets for the next week. For grade 7, the color of the envelope is green. For grade 8, red. For grade 9, 
yellow and for grade 10, blue. Take note that proper acknowledgement and registration procedures will also be done during the release and retrieval of capsulates. To ensure a systematic procedure in releasing and retrieving the capsulates, parents and guardians are advised to monitor their child or ward's pacing in answering the capsulates activities and assessments. Parents or guardians should remind their children or wards to answer each activity in the given activity sheets. Before returning the capsules to school, the parents or guardians must ensure that the four activity sheets are enclosed in one envelope. The four main capsules are also placed in another envelope as one. Parents and guardians are advised to leave the school campus as soon as the capsules are received or returned. Furthermore, the class advisors are expected to disinfect the capsulates before these are released to the parents or guardians. It is vital for the advisors to disinfect the capsulates and the activity sheets every time these are released to ensure that it is safe and free of virus. Pablo Lorenzo Memorial High School is certain enough that it is safe to release and receive the capsulates as scheduled. Due to the increase in COVID-19 cases in the city, the school prioritizes the health and safety of the parents, guardians, students, teaching and non-teaching personnel. We want to lessen the risk by strictly observing the implemented health protocols mandated by the IATF to give us confidence that the transmission rate will be managed and controlled. The health protocols of the school are the following. Have your temperature checked by the designated security personnel of the school. Wash your hand and disinfect frequently. There are designated washing areas within the school premises. Observe social distancing at all times. Avoid physical contact with your friends or anyone you know to eliminate the risk of transmission. Hand signals will be enough. Face mask is a must. If possible, we encourage the use of face shield to decrease droplets. Use the designated foot bath with disinfectants since droplets are also found all over the ground. We will keep conferences in a short duration. While the need for education to continue despite the threat of infectious virus is necessary, we have to take extra precautionary measures for quality education to prosper. And your cooperation is necessary to make things possible, and we know we can rely on you on that matter. Because we also educators want education to be sustained and not remain stagnant. Hand in hand, let's make things possible because in Pablo, believe you can. <laughs>